Hey everyone, it is week number seven of uh, online Soul Mermaids book club. And that means that we're up to chapter number seven of part one of my book, Finding My Soul at Sea. Da -da -da -da. And today it's a video um, rather than a live. So I thought I would read part of chapter seven to you. Um, it's the romantic chapter, which is, you know, I'm a romantic at heart, so I thought I would share with you. Um, the first story of the chapter is called Aruba Boat Shed Magic. Uh, the second story is called Piano Love Song. The third story is called Christmas Engagement on Stage. The fourth story is called Love Gifts Too Soon. And the fifth story is called Falling In and Out of Love Quickly. And uh, I thought that uh, you might like to hear the Aruba Boat Shed Magic because that's one of my favorite stories to tell about my time working on ships and the romance of uh, of being on board um, you know in my ship career there was lots of awkward moments um, probably more awkward moments than romantic moments but um, being on board you do get to know people very quickly very um, intensely and um, I fell in love a lot but uh, then I was the sort of person who liked to fall in love and I still am like that um, although I don't have as many opportunities or perhaps I don't give myself as many opportunities to fall in love nowadays um, on land and look what an amazing place to fall in love you know there were islands with beautiful sunsets and uh, beaches gorgeous beaches amazing restaurants you know it um, it's it's hard to choose you know I can't write about, I couldn't write about all of the romantic moments, but these are my favorites. So, as I say, I'm going to read to you Aruba Boat Shed Magic from chapter seven of my book, Finding My Soul at Sea. And uh, if you'd like to get a hold of, you know, the book, I'll give you the details at the end of the story. Because <laughs> that's how it works. Okay? So. Chapter 77, I mean, page 77 if you are reading along. Aruba Boat Shed Magic goes like this. When I met Max, there was no denying there was chemistry. Our entertainment office was next door to the video diary office, and since they filmed our activities, we worked together multiple times a day. We tried hard not to be attracted to each other. He had a girlfriend on another ship, and I didn't want to be the other woman. He was very loyal. We talked about her a lot and it made him even more attractive to me, which was torture. A few months of accidental hand brushes in the crew bar, video diary, eye connecting moments and slightly longer than usual hugs during mini golf. We went out with our group of friends on a Aruba night. It was our usual day of fun in Aruba with golf, dinner, and then drinks at the sparkly lights bar on the dock before we had to be back on board. Max and I had to leave earlier than the rest of the group because we both had to work on guest talent show. Ah, gotta go Jade, guest talent show. I was not really steady on my feet as I got off my stool. No, have one more shot. She was pretty hammered. No, Max and I have got to go back now or we'll be late for the show. I waved him over. Ronan, tell them to have one more, Jade called in her an ally to assist her cause. Stop it, guys. You know Pip can't handle any more than a thimble full of alcohol. Max took my hand and started to lead me away from the bar. Come on, Miss Half-Pissed. I giggled and let him lead me away. Thanks for saving me. I wobbled a bit on my heels. Whoa, no worries, he laughed as he steadied me. 
The dock at Aruba was quite long and as we walked toward the ship, we had to pass the brightly coloured boat houses. I was relaxed, chatty and enjoying the warm, humid night. So when he pulled me behind the first boat shed, I was completely unaware of what was on Max, Max's mind. What? I looked around thinking we were hiding from someone. I just... He pressed up against me, my back to the boat shed wall. What? I couldn't quite see his eyes. It was dark, but I could feel his heart beating. I can't do this anymore. He moved his head closer to mine and I sucked in a breath. Really? Now? Realising what was happening, I smiled as he put his hands on my face. Yes, now. And we kissed. It was two months of pent-up energy exploding. It was great. Oh boy, so great. But we had to be back on board in 10 minutes. We have to... I didn't want to push him away. I know, we have to go, he grinned and took my hand again. We resumed the walk down the dock toward the ship as if nothing had happened, grinning like idiots. And suddenly, he pulled me behind the second boat shed and we kissed again. Oh God, we're never going to get back to the ship, I laughed. We started to walk again. Then it was my turn to drag him behind the third boat shed. As we kissed for the third time, it occurred to me that we were risking not only being late back to the ship, but the integrity of his relationship with the other girl. Even though other people had told him she was cheating on him, he wanted to be faithful. As we started to walk again, I had to ask, Max, what about your girlfriend? I found out today she's been cheating on me and so we're over. Wow, okay, well, that's great. I mean, not about the cheating thing. I'm sorry she cheated on you, but that means you're available. As I wrapped my arms around him for the fourth kiss behind the boat shed, number four, <laughs> it felt right. We waited so long to be together. It was only a week later, after we'd slept together a few times, that Max told me he hadn't technically broken up with his girlfriend on that day, and so we had cheated. But no matter how you spin it, that was a romantic start to a relationship. And that relationship went on for quite a while after that, actually. Um, so, and there's more about that in the, um, in the book. So if you'd like to read some more of Finding My Soul at Sea, take a look at pipcoleman.com and check out the new book available now and uh, get yourself a copy. I'd love to see you, love to hear your feedback and uh, happy to send things out in the mail to you now so you've got something cool to read while you're in isolation stuck at home safe at home i should say stay safe i will see you very soon next week we're going to read about chapter eight on week number eight of the online soul mermaids book club i will see you soon thank you and take good care